Battle of the Botch. The Second World War. A major uh, clash between the Allies and um, Germany, Nazi Germany. Uh, the Allies are, of course, advancing towards um, Berlin. They have landed D-Day, a big landing. But the Germans are not yet uh, defeated. Uh, I've seen some images uh, replicas and some other things I've uh, forgotten in the museum in Boston. They spent uh, three weeks in 1991. Uh, The most stand by yours truly outside this country. Uh, there have been other trips, but there were three of those. And, um, in other words, we, we've seen places where the battles took place, but we wouldn't really uh, concern ourselves with that part of history, which is shown here in the movie with Henry Fonda. One of the legends, one of the greatest uh, actors of all time. Um, <laughs> one uh, that has uh, an interesting personal history. He wasn't very uh, good as a father, I think. The conclusion is from some documentary I've seen. Termina. Husband, also he, who left much to be desired. But then eh, there's this intellectual, um, Paul Johnson. That's Marco's book. Talks about giants of literature: Tolstoy, Jack Shackleson, ah. Ibsen, Hemingway. Well, Hemingway, giant. I'm not that crazy about Hemingway. In fact, I feel like uh, more his short stories uh, for whom ah. the other tolls, um, not even um, The Sun Also Rises. Um, uh, I've read it again uh, recently and um, ecstatic. But anyway, uh, these and others have been um, quite vicious in, in that fight of rights. Jean Jacques Rousseau, to give an example, left his uh, children at the orphanage, the poor of the orphanage, uh, at a time when nine out of ten would die in an orphanage, so, sentenced to death. Uh, Henry Fonda, there is an anecdote uh, mentioned in Who the Hell Is In It? Peter Bogdanovich, the direct director of The Last Picture Show, uh, great classic. He also made um, What's Up, Duck, or something like that. But that's strange because I, I'm not. I don't like him for some reason. I don't know why he, he seems a bit arrogant. He seems more precious. I don't know. Um, so there, there's something with the snake. I think um, maybe John Wayne wanted to, to, to play a trick on Henry Fonda uh, with the snake. But it turned out that Henry Fonda was not scared of snakes. He knew that he knew that this one was not. I mean, it wasn't a viper or whatever. He wasn't killing. Uh, and the joke turned on John Wayne. If I remember well, I, I, I may very well be confused. I believe John Wayne. Uh, Henry Fonda.
Emma and uh, James Stewart, I think they were very, very close, very close friends. They shared the room and they started the party or something like that. But had different differences in political opinions. So I wonder if Brandon was, was a Republican, say, and Stewart was a Democrat, and more of a left, let's say, even if the left in America, Democrats in America are center right. <laughs> Even to this day, <clears throat> they shout the uh, uh, commies and oh, what there is the word. Chai Mo! Chai! Chai! Speaking of John Wayne, he was a radical. He, he, he led that movement with the blacklist against the poor. It's good. But we have to wrap this up because I have to do some shooting here.